Now we are going to talk about what types of databases are out there. Uh, there are many ways we can categorize a databases. They may be different in size, in type, in a distribution, uh, in a data storage and so on. So for example, if we talk about a distribution, we could talk about on-premise and databases. So it's on your local computer or in your company internally on some server, or it could be a cloud database, or it could be a distributed database that has nodes all over the globe. Then we could also typically categorize and databases by a type, which is the categorization that I have here in this gray box in the central area. And then here uh, by type, we can classify them into relational databases, analytics uh, systems, document oriented and databases, cloud databases, and other types of databases. But what's more important to you probably at the moment here, because this classification can obviously vary depending on who you ask, uh, is and those ones that are in bold letters here are examples of the ones that use SQL that are going to learn in this course. And also some other ones like a Apache Cassandra use SQL like uh, query languages. Why? Because in the relational databases and SQL have been around for a while. This is why it's a really good idea. It's a required skill uh, to learn SQL in, in this course. For the types of uh, databases, and this is a overview. Uh, in the next chapter, we're going to talk about SQL. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask in the Q&A. See you in the next video.